Hello again. Uh, we've now got the uh, the piece of the wing, the sample, here uh, completely covered, and we now move on to the next stage, which is uh, tightening uh, the fabric, and we do that with dope. This is ordinary, clear shrinking dope. The stuff you can get from any of the model suppliers and cellulose fluid, uh, uh, sorry, cellulose thinners. This is uh, just cheap stuff. You can get uh, lots of suppliers on eBay for that. And we thin it uh, to start with 50 50 dope and thinners. Right, what we're going to do is starting. On the bottom surface of the wing, we will put wipe your brush out because what you don't want is uh, you don't want any drops going right through the nylon. onto the inside of the nylon and then dropping all the way onto the uh, other surface of the uh, nylon on the other side of the, the wing. So brush it on, start with the panels, any uh, panels on the open surfaces like this. normally do this in my upstairs workshop here where which is just for construction purposes but I'm doing this purely <coughs> for the video you <coughs> pardon me you really want to do this in a well ventilated place and this this isn't unfortunately but uh, so you can see what I'm doing We're doing it here. There we go. Just make sure there are no runs on the other side, like so. And this will dry incredibly quickly. If there are any little bits that uh, appear to be coming proud of the surface, not completely sucked down, then just rub them down with your finger. There. That's it. So we'll we'll leave that to dry and as soon as it's dried we'll do the other side okay so I'll come back to that in a few more absence I've uh, I've also uh, doped the first coat 50 50 uh, dope and thinners uh, to the other side and uh, this is um, all now dry it dries very quickly and uh, you can probably see it's starting to look good. What we're going to do now to uh, continue the shrinking probes process and the process of sealing, um, we're going to use uh, a thicker dope uh, uh, thinners mixture. It's, this is about 75 to 80 percent dope in here now. So uh, I'm going to paint this on just as before and this should really start 
the shrinking process in earnest. What you'll find after the first coat of thinned dope and thinners is that you may get some slacking, slackening off of the tissue. That is perfectly normal. Um, it quickly retightens again. Not surprising, the, the thicker the dope, obviously the more shrinking action it's got. Um, but you need to you need to basically look at what uh, dope you've you got. Uh, most of the uh, the regular shrinking dope from uh, model shops is pretty much the same strength, um, but should you get um, dope intended for real aircraft or gliders, you might uh, you might find the shrinking is a bit more than you expected. So uh, beware of that. Right, that's looking good. You can also use it to um, the dope too if you've got any little bits that have come unstuck because maybe there wasn't uh, there wasn't any of the uh, adhesive in that particular little bit of wood. You can uh, reattach it with with the dope, and the thicker dope, of course, will help bond the nylon to the wood. So I've just got a couple of little tiny bits here overlap. So I'm just pushing them down and that's all looking very good. And that's drying already. That's uh... So we'll leave that for a, a short while and then we will do the other side. How many coats it needs is anyone's guess. It's uh, basically you you keep applying coats of dope until uh, you it's shrunk to the amount you want, so that the uh, fabric is really taut and that you're confident that you've actually filled the weave. Okay, right, I'll see you later. Right. The uh, one side here, this is the second coat, and uh, that's completely dry, and as you can hear, it's tightening nicely. So we're going to put a second coat of the 75 to 80% uh, dope thinners on now, on the top side. And after that, when this is dry, probably one more coat will uh, probably see us with a, a very taut, airtight covering.
and we probably can't see, but this is this is drying already. Rubbish brush keeps dropping hairs. Right, so we can leave that for a few minutes and uh, then come back and have a look. Hello again, and uh, the wing is uh, now complete. The, uh, the sample that I that I made to demonstrate this uh, excellent nylon tin, and here it is. It's uh, it's had one more coat of uh, shrinking dope, and you can hear it's absolutely drum tight, and that is. A superb covering, really strong, adds huge strength to the airframe, literally like nothing else. So I hope uh, I hope that's shown that uh, covering with nylon is actually no more difficult than covering with the old-fashioned Solatex, which is no longer available. And this is the key to it: the uh, fast tack heat sensitive glue which is uh, readily available and uh, you iron it on just like Solatex and then uh, shrink it with dope. So uh, thank you for watching.